Well, feminist pacifism is a critique of not only militarism and war, which is what we usually associate with pacifism, um, but is also incorporating abuses of power and structural violence more broadly. Uh, so I was looking at a definition by a suffragist of the uh, 19 teens progressive era, and her understanding of um, anti-militarism really was something that was very consistent with our under modern understanding of feminist pop pacifism. It's an inherent part of being opposed to mil militarism to also be challenging these abuses of power and to be concerned about relationships between men and women and more broader understanding about uh, power and violence and coercion. Cynthia Enblow has an interesting approach to this where she's um, talking about the idea of security as not being the idea that uh, there's uh, security being provided to protect women, which she says perpetuates this uh, military sort of model, but saying that we need to give men and women both the tools in order to be able to de-escalate violence. And so her argument is that the way that women are socialized, women already have particular communication tools and interrelational tools. Uh, not to say that men don't have these, but often women are given more practice or opportunity to use these. And so she says in this way that a truer understanding of security according to feminist pacifist principles would be something where you're incorporating those talents, that idea of power to rather than power over. Well, I think with inter international relations as a whole, uh, there's this transition that's become even more mainstream from this idea of international relations as being based on realist uh, expectations to someone who is as well known as uh, sec former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton um, advocating in her farewell, for farewell speech uh, for the greater acceptance of soft power. I'm pleased to see that there are more policymakers who are uh, adopting these ideas and promoting these ideas. But one of the things that I was interested in, even in um, Hillary Clinton's speech, is that there are ways in which this is being promoted, and yet there are also the regular operations and policy decisions that are being made by the State Department. And so there's almost sort of like a good cop, bad cop kind of thing. We're still a long way from widespread acceptance and adoption of these um, ideas into uh, policy, not only by women who are in positions of power, but also amongst the male um, uh, policymakers.